The Philippines is home to more than 52,000 different species of plants and animals. As such, the country is one of only 17 countries in the world to be considered as megadiverse countries. Meaning that there are more than 5,000 different species of plants and animals only found here in the Philippines. Because species that can only be found in one country and geographical boundary, endemic. Endemic animal species are important members of the ecosystems they are a part of because they are unique species that have evolved to both adapt and develop their respective ecosystems. Some of the rarest animals in the world can only be found here in the Philippines. Considered as the most endangered crocodilian in the world, the Philippine crocodile is actually a keystone species for its ecosystem. Meaning that without the Philippine crocodile, an entire ecosystem would either collapse or change drastically. For example, Philippine crocodiles prefer eating ailing fish as opposed to the healthy ones, which is a great help in improving the common health stock of the fishes. Apart from that, by also preying on the most common fishes, they directly affect the balance of the local fish population, inadvertently helping with the livelihood of the communities along the rivers. One of the most important species that is endemic to the Philippines is the Philippine Eagle. The apex predator in the forests of Luzon, Samar, Leyte, and Mindanao, wherein the only animals that they do not prey upon in the Philippines are humans and large adult ungulates like carabaos. Being the apex predator, they are valid indicators of the overall status of the Philippine ecosystem. The more Philippine eagles there are, the healthier the ecosystem is. Larger forests, a more balanced population of animals, and more natural resources for communities that live near the forests are all effects of having a healthy population of Philippine eagles. However, despite the tremendous benefits that they provide not just for the ecosystem, but the people as well, there is a reason as to why both Philippine crocodiles and the Philippine eagle are critically endangered. Us. Habitat destruction, poaching, misinformation, fear, the list goes on. But what can we do to help our own endemic species? Perhaps the most immediate thing you can do is to research about the local conservation efforts for the different endangered endemics of the Philippines. Read about the current situation and talk about the endemics with friends family, and classmates. And might I suggest that you head on over to the PhilippineEagleFoundation.org, the official website of the Philippine Eagle Foundation to learn more about the current state of our Philippine Eagle. The conservation efforts of the Philippine Eagle Foundation team in helping save our keystone species, our flagstone species, the Philippine Eagle.